Hello. Good morning. How are you? I hope you're having a great morning. And I am filming this after we had our homeroom meeting yesterday. And I just feel so happy that I saw you guys. And it was really great. And Every day we're going to have those homeroom meetings with Zoom at eight o'clock and we'll get to see each other and talk about things. I want to start doing something special every day in our homeroom. Maybe one person will get a chance to show them around, show us around your room or something like that. I don't know when we're going to start that, but we'll do some kind of share like that. Everyone will take a turn. Um, and then I also know that I mentioned having small group meetings because the homeroom meetings that we're having are new and this week we have report card meetings. I want to wait to have the small group meetings because it's just a lot of changes and I think we should wait a little while. Get used to our homeroom meetings first. We'll get a chance to share our writing there for now. And yeah, we're going to just keep doing our homeroom meetings at eight o'clock. I'll send the link to your parents on Phidias or in our Google Hangout chat so that they will have it. And I'll send them five minutes before eight o'clock because we can only have the meetings for 40 minutes at a time. So I have to send the link right before eight o'clock so we can use that time wisely, okay? So I'm really excited and looking forward to our future homeroom meetings together. We're going to get started with our day doing a word sort. The same word sorts we started yesterday, hopefully. You did not glue them, you have them in a safe place so that we can practice sorting them today. When you're done doing the sort, you're going to write your words, yes, three times each, okay? It's for your practice. All right, let's start sorting. Are you ready? Okay, so let's get started with our sort. First we need our headers. Let's sort your words together, okay? I'll do mine and you can do yours. I like to spread the words out so I can see them all. That makes it a little easier for me when I'm sorting them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So P, L, and P, L. All the way at the top. P, O, P, L. Going to start sorting now. Hair. Looks like a pot, not a pan. Pans are shallow. Flyers, log, log, plus. There's the flip. There's the flock. Okay. If you're not done sorting your words, go ahead and press pause. When you're finished, let's read the words together. Did you finish sorting your words? Let's read the words here together and then we'll read your words by yourself. Okay, let's get started. Hail, hi, hin, han, 
log, letter, lock, leaf, plate, plum, plug, plane, pliers, plus, and plant. Pause the video. I want you to read your words in front of you. Okay, boys and girls, with your journal, you're going to put a title, P L P L, the date and your name, write three times each. You're going to write three times each for all your words, okay? I'm going to show you, for example, hi, hi, hi. These are my P words. Pin, pin. Pin, pan, 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 and so on. You're going to do three times each for your P words, three times each for your L words, three times each for your P L words. Okay? All right, pause the video now. I want you to finish writing your words three times each. Okay? All right, boys and girls, did you finish your three times each in your journal? Okay, I hope you took your time writing with nice handwriting. Now we're going to read a book from Raz Kids. The book is called We Give Away. Let's get started reading. We give away. We give away. Mom and I are giving away old things. I put my old bear in the pile. Hmm, the word pile, what does that mean? Let's keep reading to find out. I put my old puzzle in the pile. I put my old toy in the pile. I put my old boots in the pile. I put my old hat in the pile. I put my old blanket in the pile. I put my old book in the pile. It always feels good to give away old things. It feels great to keep my old bear. That's the end of the book, boys and girls. Have you ever given away your old things? Let's not forget that word pile. Here, I put my old book in the pile. Pile means a place where you put all your things and they make a big bunch of stuff and that thing is called a pile. Like maybe in your room, you have a pile of clothes. At school, sometimes they make a pile of leaves. Any group of things all put together can make one big pile. Boys and girls, we're going to write about what happened in the book now. Let's go. All right, boys and girls, I wrote in my journal, I put we give away. I put the date and the name. Remember, if you want to read a different book, you totally can. This is only my example to show you. But if you want to read the same book, that's also fine. So what happened in the book? Okay, I'm going to read to you what I wrote. In the book, the boy is giving away his old things. He gives away a blanket, old toys, and his bear. They go to a place to give away all the things, but he keeps the bear. All right, boys and girls, it's your turn to go read a book on Raz Kids. When you're done, I want you to write this question in your journal. What happened? in the book. Okay? All right. Pause.
pause the video and get started. Did you finish your reading log? I hope you liked the book that you read. Do you remember to check your work carefully? Remember when we have our homeroom meetings, we're going to use that time to share the things we have been working on. Normally we have our daily journal now, but because we wrote our words three times each earlier, I thought I would be nice and give you a little break. So we won't have a daily journal today, but tomorrow we'll have a daily journal. Our last activity we're going to do is another Kahoot with more guided reading words that we have been practicing. How did you do with yesterday's guided reading? I hope you're liking the Kahoots. Remember, the Kahoots are optional. If you want to do them, totally fine. If you don't, that's fine too. They're optional for you if you do have free time, if you want to practice them. Okay, so let's go to our next activity with the Kahoot. Are you ready? Let's get started. Do you want to hmm to the ice cream shop? To in, to go, to be, to act. Which one is correct? To go to the ice cream shop is correct. Next question. Hmm is trying to do taekwondo. I is me is, it is, he is. Which one is correct? He is trying to do Taekwondo. He. Can you give hmm a pencil, please? Give me, give you, give I, give it. Which one is correct? Give me a pencil, please. Hmm, you like to eat spaghetti? Yes, I, hmm. Which one is correct, boys and girls? Can you, to you, am you, do you? Do you like to eat spaghetti is correct. I do not, hmm, bugs. I do not have, I do not do, I do not ka, I do not like. Which one is correct? I do not like bugs. Hmm, are so cute. You are so cute. I are so cute. Me are so cute. They are so cute. You are so cute is correct. The cat is, hmm, the boxes. Is in, is under, is behind, is on. The cat is on the boxes. The cat is, hmm, the box. Now look at the cat, where is it? Is on, is under, is in, is at. Is in the box is correct. Can I have hmm apple? A apple, the apple, an apple, is apple. Which one is correct? The or an is correct. The is asking for something like a specific apple, like the special one. And because A is apple, starts with a vowel, A. Hmm, you please be quiet. Can you, be you, please you, know you. Can you please be quiet is correct. There are hmm, many ducks everywhere. Some many, be many, are many, so many. Which one's correct? There are so many ducks everywhere. T 
Do you like heights? Heights is being somewhere very high. Hmm, I do not like it. Sorry, no picture. Yes, I do. No, I do. If I do. No, I do not like it. Sometimes people are scared of heights. How old are you? I, hmm, eight years old. I is, I are, I have, I am. Which one is correct? I am eight years old is correct. How did you do, boys and girls? Okay, boys and girls, how did you do in the Kahoot? Was it easy? Was it hard? Remember, if you need to practice, we have the guided reading videos on our channel. We did list A words today and yesterday. And if you want to practice the Kahoot on your own, the link is going to be down in the description box. In this, the description box, you don't need the pin or anything. Just click the link and make your own nickname. All right, we're at the end of the video. Thank you for working hard today. And I have a special message from Miss Veronica. Bye. Hi, kids. Today, I'm going to show you how to wash your hands, okay? So you go to a bathroom, open the sink, put some water, close, and then you take the soup, put a little bit like this, and you start to count to 30, okay? So let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 30, okay? Look my hands. I have some bubbles on my hands. Then you open the sink again, wash your hands, take all the soap off like this. Okay? Close the sink. Then take a towel to dry your hands. Hold your hands. You have to change this towel every day, okay? So tell your parents. When your hands are dry, if you have some handheld, this antibacterial, you can put some, okay? And then your hands are clean, okay? So keep this on your mind, wash your hands, the most of the times you can at home, okay? Bye, see you.